Welcome back to another edition of Ask Layton. I'm Layton Hale, Senior Housing Advisor with Homeport, and I'm here to tell you it's time to sign off. Yes, I'm retiring. It's been a remarkable ride helping people with their finances for over the years, and a large chunk of that time has been here at Homeport. One of the most interesting aspects of what I've done here at Homeport is a show we call Ask Layton. I'm here today to review what we've accomplished and to provide a few tips on just final tips, I would say, to help provide structure to me. Let me introduce Ask Layton co-producer, Steve Nichol, Homeport's Manager of Public Relations. Thanks, Layton. You know, some time ago, when you and I first brainstormed the idea of making these videos on financial matters and housing, we had a concept. We had little else to run on. Turns out, 25 shows later, hard work and some luck, we've come a long way. Your knowledge has helped so many. Topics covered on Ask Layden include buying in a seller's market, avoiding housing scams, knowing how much house you can afford, setting financial goals, avoiding college debt, and so much more. Layton, these videos, well, I hate to say this, but you've become a star. You know, you've been online, you've been on radio, you've been on television, you've been in the newspapers. Uh, we partnered with organizations here in the community like the Columbus Chamber of Commerce, put your videos or columns on, on their website. We also partnered with Fox 28's Good Day Marketplace to allow you to introduce individuals who benefited from your expertise to tell their story and educate the public on what Homeport's Housing Advisory Services Department offers. Layton, what was your favorite story of all the stories you told on Ask Layton? You know, Steve, it's, it's when you say 25 stories, that, that's a lot. I, it, it went so fast. I, I, it, but I think out of all the ones we've done, the ones about the student loan um, products, it was a three-part series. I think that was the most fun for me. Number one, it was definitely timely and needed because so many of our clients come into us with student loan debt, and it makes it difficult for them to be able to purchase a home. Um, another thing I really liked about it was um, I was able to work with my daughter, and um, she gave us some great information, and you know, it just made it real. That's great. That's great. Now, when we started out, <clears throat> it was pre-COVID. Mm -hmm. Then you had to go home. Yeah. But we still had to make as late. So how hard was it to work from home for you, the self-recording and everything that was involved? Steve, um, anybody who knows me knows that me and computers don't get along. So for someone else, it wouldn't have been that hard. But I had to learn how to record. I had to learn how to use Zoom. And back then, that was very new to me. Um, but with the help of you and Ryan, you guys uh, helped me get through it. And I just want to say thank you to both of you guys for all the help you gave me. Okay, looking back at your career, and it's been a long one, what would you say was the most gratifying thing about it? Oh, you know, Steve, um, you're right. It's, it's, I've been doing this for a long time. But um, there's a few clients that really stick in my mind. One young lady, Deshanta Drew, we worked together for over two years before she purchased her home. And um, there were some high points and low points in that, but I can say that she followed the plan, she worked the plan, and uh, she purchased her home in 2020 and she's still in that home. So that was a success story. Uh, another young lady was uh, Maggie Parks. That young lady, um, she thought it was gonna take about a year, year and a half to purchase a home. And from the time she came into home port to the time she purchased a home, it was a little over six months. And so, you know, if I would say, if you work the plan, the plan will work. And we put a lot of people into homes. Um, one last person that kind of comes to mind is a, as a older lady, a few years ago when the foreclosure issue was happening, she came into home port and she was uh, really afraid because she was afraid that she was gonna lose her home. She was on fixed income, couldn't afford the house. And we negotiated with a mortgage company 
So not only were we able to keep her home, she was able to get a loan modification. They took her down to 2% interest rate, and they even took some of the principal off of what she owed. And that was something that was not done a lot at the time. But she uh, was very, very happy with home for it after that. Well, Lane, you're retiring now, but your work is going to live on through www.homeportlearning.org. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? You know, Steve, it really makes me feel kind of good. Um, you know, Homeport's mission and what we do here at Homeport is very helpful. It helps people, um, you know, get their finances together so that they can accomplish their dream of home ownership. So those those videos they can still review, they can still look at it anytime the information is still valuable. Um, but we also have a great staff uh, that is, will be here long after I'm gone, we will be able to continue that mission. That's true, Le Layden. Uh, we, we have a pretty strong bench here mm -hmm. at Homeport, and uh, we have already decided on who's going to follow in your footsteps, Tanisha Drummond. Finally, I want to ask you something. Are you ready to retire? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think, like I said earlier, it's a little bittersweet, though, um, because I'm definitely looking forward to retiring. But it's also a little bit difficult because I'm leaving the best job that I've ever had. Uh, working for Home Court has been a joy, um, seeing and help, being able to help people and, and just watching uh, you know, Homeport grow and, and and the help that we've given people in the community. So, but the answer to answer your question, yes, I am. I'm ready to retire. Okay. Well, you know, I said that was your last question, but you know, it's like a star on stage. You know, everyone gets up and claps and they <laughs> hope that he comes back out. Well, okay, this is your opportunity. Layton, it's that time of the year where advertising hit at, hits at us. Luring us to buy items, for yourself, friends, relatives. So I want to ask Layden one last time to provide some tips, three tips if you can, on how not to get buried in debt from the holiday season. Okay. Good question, Steve. And, you know, whenever you I, I hear that question, I always think about that commercial, that Alpha Seltzer commercial. You know, I can't believe I ate the whole thing. You know, um, and a lot of people feel that way. You know, they, they start to overspend this time of year and then they get their credit card bills in January and they, they realize how much they spent. So the three things I would like to share is number one, create a budget. How much can you afford to spend for the holidays based on what you what your current budget is? So create a budget, number one. Number two, shop early. Shop early to take advantage of some of the sales that you might be able to, 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 to get. And um, along with number two, shopping early, try to shop with, you know, leave your credit cards at home. Use cash because statistics show if you shop with credit cards, you tend to overspend. And then the third thing, if you're one of those people who really don't have a lot of money to spend for the holidays, things are tight. You know, one of the things you can do is spend, you know, think about the time you can give, you know, spend your time, you know, think outside the box. What can I do for a person? You know, maybe an elderly person, spend time with them, cook them dinner, um, you know, clean their house, you know, do some chores with them. Um, and or even go to your photo album and find some pictures, old pictures that may mean a lot to somebody. And sometimes giving that means more to somebody than giving them something that they'll never use. Well, thank you, Layden. Steve, thank you very much for all you've done. And good luck. Thank you.